Good morning and welcome to Enlightened Hearts. I'm Naoma. I'll be your reader today. Now, I pulled this energy last night. With deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences, and grateful optimism, joyous view of the future. So, this morning, while in meditation, I asked spirit what to do they told me to do a past present future reading on you your person and the relationship um uh, right off the bat before i sat down and started recording this um i heard very clearly that so this could be a side note but i heard very clearly that some of you women need to stop falling in love to every man who's nice to you. Not every man who's nice to you is meant to be with you. So that was just a side note for somebody. Okay, so for the past, we're going to use Gods of the Illuminati. And we want to look, Spirit, at these deep emotions, unknown feelings, and past life influences. It's also important to note that both of these cards um, are 1 and 5, which is 6. Um, <clears throat> 6 is the lover's card. Okay, for the past energy, it looks like there's a decision that has to be made. or that had to be made to bring you to a position of success and balance. It seems like the decision was um, based around walking away from something that was keeping you stuck, blocked. Um, yeah, eight of cups, four of cups. What were you walking away from? Something that was keeping you blocked. Four of cups makes me feel... Like you were in a position of sadness... And you were distraught. You weren't seeing that spirit actually was giving you a full cup. And then you made the decision to walk away. I'm also hearing don't cry over spilled milk and he's not worth it. Yeah, essentially you chose the tower You chose the tower and you chose to allow spirit to knock everything down. Tower moments happen when we're not paying attention to all the signs that the universe is sending us. And with the four of cups, it would appear that you were not 
<laughs> paying attention. <laughs> I'm talking about past life influences, though, and unknown feelings. I... Mm, <clears throat> Spirit, can you please tell me some more about this past energy and walking away? Tell me... Um, the four of cups, the eight of cups, that's twelve. Twelve cups, three cups. Three cups, you're walking into celebration because you got your victory. Spirit, tell me more about these 12 cups, please. Temperance. There was a lesson that needed to be learned. Can you give me something with temperance, please? Thank you. Page of Pentacles. It seems to me like this is an energy of, like, you are out of balance and, um in this state of in this state of introspection and pondering like you were almost ready to go into hermit mode and the lesson was kind of like you need to grow the hell up you were chasing after Kid things I'm hearing. Oh, coming from a decision making process that was all about your emotions and not your brain. There was not a good balance of mental and heart. There wasn't enough balance of intuition. So, Spirit had to jump in and show you show you the two options, show you the few options so that you could make your choice. Also, there's three pentacles out here, so These um, unknown feelings that you're experiencing are because you're tapping into well this is all about six right so six is all about harmony and balance the lovers, the masculine and feminine balanced. Six, 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 the number of the beast is actually divine harmony and balance. And in the Bible times, when King James was interpreting the Bible, that 666 became demonized because in Kabbalah, the beast is the awakened consciousness. Six 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 is the number of the beast. Six 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 is the awakened consciousness. The self-aware consciousness.
Okay, so the lesson in balance had to do with balancing your... Balancing the shit that was all in your head versus the reality of what is in the 3D for you. It's balance the it, it, it's balancing your um, balancing your pentacles. Spirit's like, hey, hey, I'm gonna throw this little bone at you. Come on. You finally accepted the bone. Okay. So let's look at the present here. I put the pyramid in between the two cards. I'm also burning the Egyptian temple incense this morning because the Egyptians understood They understood as above, so below. All right, let's look at the present energy spirit, please, for the collective. Again, out at the bottom of the deck. The underlying energy of the present moment. Four of Cups. The sun is shining, but you think it's a cloudy day. <clears throat> Six of Cups. There's... <laughs> here we go. Here's the past life influences. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. Four of Cups being the underlying energy. So, this is actually, this is beautiful. Um, presently, like you may be feeling sad and disheartened. Um, you're never going to meet your partner. You're never going to meet your twin flame, your soulmate, whatever, whatever you want to identify with. This is collective, so take it how it resonates. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I try not to do, I try not to do, um, he, she, I try to keep it as gender neutral as possible, but if I say she, I could mean he, um, flip it, switch it, take it how you want it, don't fight with it, if you find yourself fighting with it, then this reading's not for you. So, the past life influences are really making you, um, feel some kind of way you're feeling you're feeling alone and like this cloud is hanging over your head but you, like you know that there is something nostalgic okay um like you're feeling some kind of uh like a childhood memory um But it's not a childhood memory. You don't know why you're feeling that way. Um, the Wheel of Fortune also makes me feel like divine timing for this connection is at play here. Um, but the fact that it's out makes me think that you're sitting at the top of the wheel and just waiting for it to um, move. What you are not seeing in the energies that are at play around you is that your spirit team has actually been protecting you 
from opposing energies so that way you can be ready and ripe for your divine partnership to come in. And these unknown feelings that are at play is this uh, past life that you shared with this other person. It also makes me feel like the last life that you guys had together was like 1800s France. Like I feel very... Prince Louis. Type energy. Renaissance type energy. And then with the Nine of Cups out here, like he was your he, she, take it how it resonates again. But like that person was a wish granted. There's also 10, 19, there's also 10 cups out here. So not only was this your wish granted, but <clears throat> this was the ultimate fulfillment of emotional needs. the wheel turns is when you'll be in your nine of cups so what are we to expect when the wheel turns spirit please wow okay that was quick give me a couple more cards anything else the fool and judgment okay I don't even know what order these came out except that death came out last so um what's causing the wheel to turn is one or both of you are waking up This card reminds me of the dry bones prophecy in the book of, um, I think it's Isaiah. The prophet spoke and the bones rose to an army of um, spiritual warriors. When the prophecy was fulfilled, it was literally like, the 1947 when Israel was <clears throat> brought back together and recognized as a nation <clears throat> but that's not the end of the prophecy because uh, everything happens in cycles and we've reached the end of a 21 a 2150 year cycle we've reached the end of it and we're getting ready to move well, we're already starting to see the signs that we're moving into Aquarius now very rapidly. The age of Aquarius, the age of love and enlightenment. Somebody decided to step off a cliff into the unknown. Their inner child woke up and it was, it sparked a change, like a shedding away of the old you to reveal the actual you. You're shape shifting. The false is falling away and the real is coming to the surface. So you are presently in a state of awakening. You heeded the call. Here I am, Lord. How can I help?
<laughs> you answered the call and the divine said, okay, now we can turn the wheel. Now I am seeing that there is some heart healing that needs to be done here. I'm seeing a lot of green overshadowed. There is some heart healing that needs to be done. Maybe you have not reached yet the place of um, love and light, but you're going to find out very shortly that you have got to integrate your shadow into the light or you are going to continue to be unbalanced. In other words, live authentically. Don't let your shadow overtake your persona but blend it with your light. Like, love and light, but fuck off. Like, make sure that you are having your boundaries insanely clear and strong. And there's a lot of major arcana out here. But yeah, moving into the future, stepping off the cliff with new eyes, moving into the future as who you're supposed to be, death of the ego, reconnection to the higher self. And it was very likely that your um, soulmate twin flame however that resonates for you is the catalyst that jumped you into this timeline you may not have met this person some of you may have for some of you this could also just be like a high level soulmate friend who was a past life um person okay so let me tell you a story a couple of months ago um i was truly struggling with my spiritual journey um i was very deep into bible prophecy and i've got a friend at work who i was able to discuss the prophecies with um and it started very end timesy uh christian it turned into like new age christian and then after my stroke was when i started to see the bible through fresh eyes through spirit's lens okay and this friend at work um I never could understand exactly what our connection was, but in conversation, we we can. We don't um, discuss many things anymore because he's still trapped in a fear, um, like a, like he his life is his life runs off of fear. He feels love in his heart, but it. it the decision-making process is always based on fear. His son just got married and, um, you know, just talking about the fact that he has to let his son move on and be a man on his own made him sad. Or we should be celebrating the fact that his son is starting his own tribe. But these people are very wrapped up in the church. And, um, yeah, we know where that leads. But anyway, I digress. So, anyway, I had a vision. Like a straight-on open vision of him killing me in a past life for speaking the truth. Like, uh, almost like, like, 
it feels like Knights Templar when I'm thinking about the vision now. Like I'm seeing me in a role like Joan of Arc and him being the church. Or like Saul killing the Christians in the New Testament and then then converting to Paul. But something like this, somebody who was like a, a Christian slayer, a spirit, but more like spiritual, like this Joan of Arc character that I was, was speaking the truth and I was killed for it. Just like I'm doing now, I don't risk being killed this time around because I'm heavily protected by spirit. <laughs> but... Anyway, so, you know, this person who woke you up could be a very similar situation. You guys spent past lives together in different, in different roles. Okay, the people who hated us in our last lifetime are probably us from that lifetime in this lifetime role reversal the people that killed us their karma is to be entangled in a love situation with us this time um y you understand what i'm saying the people that did us wrong are reincar reincarnating and their karma is being brought to this lifetime in the opposite and especially, like, these cards make me feel like that's true, too. Like, we've got mirroring numbers, 15 and 51. Okay. Let's look at the future energy. We've got grateful optimism, so joyous view of the future. Okay. Future energy, spirit, please. They're telling me I should have just taken the cards. <laughs> okay. We've got the Priestess of Light Codes at the bottom of the deck is the underlying energy. That would be the Queen of Wands. This is the Radiant Feminine. So I could be speaking to a female right now or I could just be speaking to a feminine personality. Male, female, doesn't matter. Okay, so your eyes opened up. The wheel turned. You got your nine of cups. You shed your skin. You heeded the call. You transformed into this beautiful, radiant gorgeous striking like you shine like one of the Egyptian goddesses <sighs> thank you Lucette. this is you, you're an intuitive. Your heart space is not quite aligned yet, but you are starting to. Um, I'm going to say like your root chakra, sacral, and solar plexus, you're in your creative, um, okay, so you're creative and you're grounded. You're intelligent and witty. But you're also, you know, stern because you've got boundaries set up. And this is all new for you.
justice also out here. So, and that's alignment of the heart. Oh, look, 15. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That says 35. I should probably put my glasses on. <laughs> oh, okay. So, judgment and justice out here. And temperance. Big, big, big lessons to get you to this point. Big lessons. Lots of karmic relationships. And those relationships could be within blood family or found family. And when I say found family, I'm talking about the people that you chose to be your family. Not the family that you were born into, but lots and lots of lessons. Origins of Light with the Strength card, number eight. Whispers of the Universe, six of Activations, and uh, Crystalline Staircase with the Five of Portals. This is future, future. So the underlying energy of the future, the near future, what you're getting ready to walk into is this queen of wands. It is like this dance mom energy. All work, no play. I ain't fucking around. Like. Because in the future, and you're grateful and thankful for this, right? There's a joyous view of the, the future. You're getting your cups. You're getting your heart balanced. And within that heart balancing, you're also taming the beast that is within you and while you're taming the beast you're understanding exactly where you're, you came from so you're understanding that your mind body soul your mind and your ego work together the trick is to get your soul and your mind to work together the ego is your body. And we do shadow work in order to get out of, to get the ego out of our body so that we can allow our soul to come in. Soul retrieval, soul harvest. Either way, you're coming into um, alignment with your higher self in the future. And this may already be starting now. Um, whispers of the universe universe with the six of activations is making me and this is the six of swords whispers of the universe you are already seeing snippets of that higher self coming in right as the queen of wands your intuition is pretty good you're just um not quite queen of swords energy or i'm gonna cut your head off but you're not taking any shit And you're setting clear boundaries as far as where um, your energy flows. And the crystalline staircase with the five of portals, five of cups. But this makes me really think of the spiral. You start even even the um, even the pyramids in Egypt were built with this. Um, it, it's called the golden ratio. Okay, with the spiral, you start at a fulcrum point and expand out. And what I'm seeing is that with this future energy is that you um, right now are like at the precipice with the fool. You're at the precipice. You're starting at the fulcrum point and moving into the future. You're expanding. Um... Especially right now with where Jupiter is in the 
um, within our solar system. Jupiter is about expansion. Jupiter's in Gemini right now. Um, this is definitely expansion of the mind and our communication skills. Um, expansion of our... And I, I'm hearing reset, rebalance of our dual, dualistic... Um, because every human is dualistic, right? Male, masculine, feminine. We carry that within us. This is an expansion, but also a recalibration of the balance between our masculine and feminines. And this expansion, this whisper from the universe, this energy feels incredibly exciting. But you're optimistic in the future about it. I know I said last night that this reading was going to be about the number six and the lovers, and it is quite clearly about the number six. We've got the six of wands, the six of cups, and the six of activation. Six, six, six. What did I say at the beginning? The beast is the conscious human. The self-aware conscious human. And the beast is not something to be demonized because the beast is within all of us but the trick is taming the beast right the strength card so three of wands the chariot nine of pentacles Ten of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. Um, yeah. You, um... You know, it takes a very long time or what we perceive as being a very long time to fully grasp what our shadow is and begin to integrate it. Understanding the past hurts, the past life hurts. It takes a long time to get there. And it takes an incredible amount of fortitude and willpower and straight up determination. But once you take that first step and you do the work, just like when you plant your garden in April and May and you don't see the benefits of it, you know, you you pull the weeds and you fertilize every week and you do all the things. You go out and meticulously pick off all the little green tobacco worms on your tomato plants. Feed them to the chickens. That span of time between August 1st when the tomatoes usually are ready and you planted them at the beginning of May... That three months is painstakingly long. Like every day you're out there like, oh, it's got flowers. Oh, the flower got pollinated and there's little berries starting to form on the tomato plant. Oh my God. It takes such a long time. But the patience, the patience it takes to be thankful for the harvest at the end. And that's what this is all about for you, Collective. This is all about feeling. Feeling your past lives and integrating your past lives into this life. And recognizing it, you know, allowing the awakening to 
not necessarily consume you, but consume you. Even while I hold a lot of knowledge within me, I've been doing this for a very long time. I've told you before, my eyes were open at a very young age, but I didn't have anybody to teach me what was going on. We're talking like 30 plus years. I may have a lot of knowledge to back me up, but I don't know everything. I'm still learning. Shit, I watched a video yesterday where I was like, duh, that all makes sense. So the path that I'm on right now, the direction may change later because I'm also still learning just like you. We had the four, uh, four and ten of cups in the present energy, the future energy, or I'm sorry, the four and the six. In the future energy here, we've got the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. That's 13 pentacles. That's two pentacles. The six of swords and strength. So... Balance and harmony, balance and harmony, balance to gain harmony, balance the beast, integrate the, yeah, so be, be present and be thankful every day. The gifts that spirit has given you. Ace of Pentacles, as I say that. We'll begin to come online very shortly. But don't just live in the light. And don't stay in your shadow. But learn to put the two together. Learn how to integrate the two. So that way you can live your most authentic self. So that way you can be the person that you signed the contract to be before you got here. Don't run away from the past. Integrate the past. Is what I'm feeling, what I'm hearing. Ace, Ace of Wands. Yeah. So, and the Wheel of Fortune again at the bottom of the deck with the world. Okay, so like, let's complete this cycle. Let's break the chains of bondage. All right. Let's integrate. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the three of cups here. Like, let's integrate and let's celebrate. And I love you guys. This is what I see for you. I hope something made sense and something confirmed. Have a wonderful day. I love you. Bye.